sides for the Pioneers. On the other side, Gustav Strigals for the Nanooks as we are underway for the second night in this nine. We've been used to seeing so far this season. It has been raucous down there from night to night on our coverage uh, throughout the year when Pioneer students have been in the houses. Divine sends it in front and Stapley scores off of the feed with Strigals. Trying to corral that puck behind the goal for Denver. Instead, Rutsov comes away with it. Up to Pike at the blue line. He hands it off back to Forna Svensson. Across! And a second power play goal on the weekend for the Nanooks as Brady Risk has scored. His fault, still able to get it to a teammate. Brett Stapley cycling his way through the neutral zone. Stapley over far side. Bjergsen in, in pursuit. He feeds it across. Irwin shoots and scores! Denver's got the lead back! was looking for his second tally of the season. 17-15 to go here in the first. Another good pass down low. Fat out in front, and Alaska is right back to Jack Devine. Near the blue line, across, Benning. Working over there with Brett Stapley. Stapley already a goal and an assist tonight. Back to Benning, one-timer, he scores! And right on cue as Charlie described it. Six assistant early on in the season, really through the first eight games. Pioneers had tremendous offensive performances at home as that puck trickles free off of a shot from Jack Devine and it slips across. It looked like maybe off of the foot of Ryan Barrow. And as it stands, it gives Denver a 4-2. It still had enough to roll in, so Jack Devine, as it looks, will get his second goal as the Pioneers. And now, right in response, Alaska is back to within one. 7.53 to go. The season for Jack Devine will be the second goal of the night for Connor Millimock. And holy cow, what a highlight goal that is. That's one of those, you got to have a lot of confidence to pull that move in a game. The Nanooks into the neutral zone. Garrett Pike lost it there for a second. It looked like Gutman might be able to spring free, but again, here comes Alaska. And as we continue talking about this team not going away, they have tied it up. Anton Rupstov just able to thread through the defenders down the left side and able to beat Krona. Krona, who has been so sharp all weekend long, gets beat far side there. Three assists, trying to add another one, which would give Denver a victory. In behind the goal, working there with Benning, Stapley. Now looking in front, feeds it right there to Devine. Popped up into the air, and Denver scores and wins it. Or do they? Going to stay with the call on the ice, and here it comes. After review, the call on the ice stands. We got no goal. High stick. So we play on. So the call on the ice was no goal. I did not see an official wave that off, which seconds of the power play. Gutman's shot is wide. That rattles around and comes all the way out, and it springs onto the stick of Comels right out of the penalty box. Shot and a save made by Krona to take us to the end of overtime.